Welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Carey. Um, we kind of have a different situation today. Uh, we are going to get a horse um, that is up for auction and is, you know, basically being shipped to Mexico for processing. So we are going to go pick her up. Um, she's actually a pregnant mare. We really don't know anything about her except she's that's it a pregnant mare that is going to Mexico uh, to be processed so we're just gonna try to save her you guys have literally uh, paid for her life I guess essentially there's no other way to say it Vet ranch has paid in donations for us to go and rescue her um, so we are picking her up now and it's just gonna be touch and go so we'll try to get some footage there obviously um, we don't want to impede or be rude so we're gonna try to kind of assess the situation and see if we can't get some footage of kind of loading her and let you guys kind of see what what things look like um, in these auction houses we're here now I mean you can see there's some horses that are in pretty poor condition so we're gonna go try to find our girl and see if we can't get her out of here it's pretty hard for me to be here right now and handle this so I'm just gonna try to get in and get out before I get too emotional about the whole situation We have her now and we are heading back with her. She's in the trailer now. Um, I got a little bit of footage, but I used my cell phone because I didn't want to be rude when I was there um, or upset anybody. I just really just wanted to get our horse and get out of there. Um, it was tough and very sad to see. I wanted to take them all, but you know, we, at the end of the day, you just have to look back and say, well, we didn't save everybody, but we saved her and her baby so we are taking her back now we're hauling her she just loaded right up with a little bit of coaxing real gentle horse put a halter on her so I hope that maybe she knows what's going on or she will pretty soon when we get her unloaded and put her in a nice um, padded stall give her lots of food and water and hay and hopefully she'll start to realize pretty quickly um, she she lucked out thanks to you guys at Vet Ranch. We are back now. Um, it was about a 45 minute drive um, where we went to get her. She's a little bit nervous understandably. She's probably just kind of been in the back of stock trailer type situations where um, she's been in there with a bunch of horses kind of loose so we'll see how she does. So far she's been great. So as you can see, she looks super pregnant, um, pretty dang thin too. Uh, so we're gonna go put her in the stocks. We're gonna do several things, which you'll see. Uh, definitely need to deworm her. She's probably gonna have lots of parasites. Um, draw Coggins for her to make her legal, which she probably has, but we don't have proof of that. Um, so, and then we're gonna palpate her to see if we can kind of guesstimate exactly how far along she is so we can try to determine what kind of date we think when she falls. They guesstimated she's about five years old, which looks pretty good. She is heavy breath. Is that the final verdict? Final verdict. As you can see, she's kind of been coughing and she's got a bunch of snot in her nose, so I'm sure she's got some pretty nasty respiratory infection. We heard a bunch of horses coughing when we were there. So we are going to deworm her um, and we'll also check her stool to see uh, what kind of parasite she has. And then um, start her on an antibiotic for her respiratory infection as well. Hopefully try to get her in a positive plan of nutrition before she falls out, um, which should be hopefully any day now. We're just getting some blood from her to send off to the state. Um, for a Coggins test, which is equine infectious anemia, to make sure she's negative. Especially important, we are going to keep her isolated from our personal horses and any patients or horses we have here, um, at least till we get this respiratory infection cleared up, but you know, maybe even longer, at least a couple weeks. So we are looking at her stool sample. Basically, we put it in to kind of a solution that helps the eggs float to the top, um, and then we take the slide off which they stick to, stick it on slide, and then we basically just look at that under the microscope 
and we know that different parasites have different eggs. And so when we look at hers, I tried to show on the camera what, what I'm seeing, but I can't quite figure that out. She's got a ton of what we call strongyle-like parasites, so the dewormer that we gave her earlier um, covers against that, so hopefully that's enough, but we'll recheck it in a week too to make sure that we got rid of everything. We have a little Nova here. She's really small, and we are going to take a sample of this discharge that she has in her nose, and we're gonna send that to the lab for a PCR test so they can figure out why she's coughing, why she's snotty. So they're gonna check for, I think, what, 15 different pathogens and find out what's causing this funk that she has um, and just make sure that we're handling it appropriately. It's been two weeks and Nova's nose is clear. Nova! Now she's not gonna look at me. So she's not coughing anymore. We got her results back and she has a herpes virus, which is very contagious in ho horses and just kind of has to run its course. But you can see her eyes are clear now. Um, she's not coughing. She doesn't have all that discharge from her nose. So she's got a clean bill of health. We just need to get weight on her and now we're gonna move her out to a different pen. your little legs. Mm -hmm. Come on. You can do it. Come on, buddy. guys first trip out so everybody's trying to figure out what's going on she's making sure her baby's with her she's a good mama whoa there's a step there's a step Today's the day we're going to go ahead and turn Nova and her little colt Orion out. Um, we're going to give her one more round of deworming because she was pretty loaded with parasites. Her respiratory infection is gone. Now we're just working to get weight on her, which is actually quite a challenge because she's um, using so many calories to feed this little colt and he looks amazing. So we're going to go ahead and deworm her and then turn her out and, and let her get some, get some exercise. Well, it is time for us to probably find Nova a forever home. Her and Orion are doing amazing. Um, they've been turned out and just kind of living the dream now. So we just really wanted to say thank you guys for all our supporters who allowed us to basically buy her life, um, which in turn was also letting us um, buy the life of our baby Orion since she was pregnant. So. They are ready to go to a forever home and we just want to say thank you and look how good they're doing. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong but I know what you're going through I know cause I've been there too I don't walk right and I don't talk right and there ain't Along with feeling strong, but I wanna be there for you, honey. Working my job and making money. But I wanna be cool for you, baby. Guys, guys, 
cut it. I'm trying to film the mom and the baby. Cut it. Last week I was climbing a tree. I lost my footing after 30 feet. Now I don't walk right and I don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong.